In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PO in order to combine all the latest models of the fringe GPTs and get the job done faster, or even better than if you were to use just one single GPT. For example, most people know about ChatGPT, and it's a great tool that OpenAI has created. However, there are others like Claude, like Gemini, and all of these can be used within one single interface, which also means that you can pay just one membership and be able to access all the premium versions and the latest and best of all these models. When using Po, which I'll show you how to do in this video, you also sometimes get features that are not even available within the user interface of the tools themselves, which is quite mind-boggling. So, let's jump onto the computer, and I'll show you what Po is all about. So here I am in Po, and this is the interface you see once you log in. You also have links to download the iOS app and the Android app if you want, so you can access this on your phone as well. But in the meantime, this might look similar to any tool that you've used in the past. So, for example, here's the chats that I've had with Po. So, I've interacted with Claude, I've interacted with Claude's Three Sonnet, I've interacted with Gemini, and these are all saved here once you set up your profile. If it's the first time, you just need to go to settings and it will ask you to set up your username, basically. So, there's the profile, and once you're in, you have a few things that you can do. The first thing you could do is start a new chat. So, similar to any other type of GPT, you can add files as well, and you can start a chat. So, how do I create YouTube videos? So, you're chatting with the Po Assistant itself. So, you can hit stop there. One thing I like about Po is that it gives you prompts after each answer. So, you can do, you can click tell me more, and this will keep going and give you more information on that. And this prompt that it gives you is always related to whatever the answer is up here. One recent feature that they just launched that I really like is this compare feature. So I could press compare with Claude and it will use the same question that I had asked. So how do I create YouTube videos and give me the output according to Claude. So within one chat window, I can get outputs from different models. I can also ask Gemini which is a very useful feature. Then I can compare the three. So according to Po, these are the steps to create a YouTube video, plan your content, script, gather equipment, set up recording space, etc. According to Claude, plan your content, set up equipment, optimize your video. But Claude has also given me sub points for each of the steps. According to Gemini, these are the steps and it has formatted it in a way that I really like. So each Sub step has different points, bolded the heading of each point, and asked me questions in this case. So, definitely a great way to make the most of all the models. And bear in mind that so far, I'm just showing you the free version. So, all of this is accessible without having to pay for any of these tools. So, going back to this, my conversation is now saved on the left hand side. And if I go back to the home screen and I hit more, these are the bots that are available within Po. So there's a lot of them. Now, one thing I will mention is that some of them are subscriber based. So for example, GPT-4, 1 to 8K token. That is something that I will have to pay for. So it will ask me to subscribe for access. Same thing with a few other ones. Um, like some of them, you will have to subscribe once you hit a certain limit because of the ways the platforms run. However, it's still a great way to get the most out of each bot. And it's also more worthwhile than if you were to pay for each individual bot separately. For example, so if I go to more and I click subscribe for access, I will get information about the specific bot. So compute points remaining today to 930. Points per message, 2,000 messages available, subscriber access. So I can't access Clotri Opus because that is the highest model Clotri has. And I would need to subscribe for access. Before I speak about this subscription, I just wanted to run through some of these as well. So there's the Po official assistant, the 
Gemini 1.5, Claude 3, Claude 3 Instant, 100k. There's a web search as well. Playground 2.5, GPT-4, which is subscriber access. There's Llama as well here. Pretty interesting. Different models of Llama as well. There's been an update recently based on Meta AI. Anyway, so quite a few bots to play around with. And these allow you to get the best answers for whatever query you're asking for. Now, another thing to mention is that you can also create your own bots. So similar to what you can do in ChatGPT by creating your own GPTs, Po allows you to create your own bots. And it's quite a relatively easy process to do. So here you create a handle for your bot and then you use the prompts to tell it how it should interact with any prompts. You can also set the base bot. So this is the bot that will be at the foundation of your bot. And this is divided into text and image. So for image, there's playground, there's stable diffusion, and there's Dali tree. You can tell your bot how to behave and respond to user messages. You can give it user base knowledge as well. So you can attach files from your computer or even provide text that it can reference. Set the greeting message, and then there are some advanced features as well. So suggest replies, render markdown, and you can also set the custom temperature. So you can influence how creative it gets. Then there's access settings. So you can make it public, you can make it make bot recommendations, or you can show the prompt in the bot profile. And that will allow you to create the bot within Po. There's also a bunch of other bots that you can try. For example, there's, let's see, there's the official bots, the popular bots, featured bots. Let's use this photo create. Hello, I can create images with your prompt. A dog sleeping on a sofa. It's a summer day and life is good. Let's see. So it was quite a fast generation. Quite a good image as well. Can you add a human in the picture? I'm not sure if this would work, but where the shot? Making edits to images actually doesn't work. Okay. So it's a weird looking eye. However, you can also, there's a remix feature here. So let's see what happens if I say, can you add a dog in the picture? And it used the image it generated and the image as the prompt itself. So that just makes the human <laughs> with the dog. So you can remix, can you add a dog in the picture? Then you can compare the results as well. So I can also compare images using different engines, which is great as well. So this is the image generated within photo create bot, which I'm not sure which engine it's using. And then I got results from stable diffusion as well. So I can remix using stable diffusion and the image itself. So can you add a, I don't know, what will have another dog in the picture. So I just created a different picture, I guess. Stable diffusion. So another thing to notice here is that you can also call out specific bots using the at symbol. So I can say at stable diffusion Excel, an image of a Mediterranean beach in August. Pretty good. And it's super fast as well. So there isn't a lot of waiting time. So that is the homepage of Poe, you can choose from popular bots and run them just like that. And again, keep in mind that I'm still using the free version as of this stage. So there's a lot of bots that you can also access if you wanted to. So if I go to settings and I look here, it says free plan. Subscriptions are currently unavailable in your region. So as of now, I can't subscribe to the free version. One thing I found which would go around that is that if I use a VPN and I switch my location, so I'm currently switched to the UK and I open Po up again, this is now available. So I can then subscribe to Po. I'm not sure about the legalities of that. So use that as you may, but that is definitely a workaround if you wanted to go for the premium version of Po. And as you can see, this costs at the moment in the UK, it would cost around 16, 67 per month in terms of pounds or around 100 pounds per year. If I switch to the US and 
let me close bow and open it up again that is yeah pretty much the same in terms of pounds and dollars so 1667 per month us dollars build that 200 dollars per year in us dollars if i had to view all plans i could also subscribe monthly so this will come to around 20 dollars per month which is the same as a chat gpt subscription or 239 dollars per year so you get a 17 percent discount if you go with the yearly membership so let me just close that here are all the chats that i've had with Po. here are the bots that i can interact with that is the subscription section there are creators so if i'm a creator by create my own bots i can monetize them as well and it says earn up to 100 dollars per subscriber and 100 dollars per thousand messages so you can enroll in that you can update your profile right there you can tweak your settings right there and then this for the scene so you can download the ios or android version right there keep in mind that getting specific answers might be better when using one tool over another King for mathematical equations some bots are better at producing answers than others whereas if you're having a conversation with a bot other bots are more conversation so it's a great way to compare and contrast the pros and cons of different bots if you found that video useful hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss future ones and in the meantime check out the link in the description i have a free checklist to help you get started with your freelance journey i'll speak to you soon